Who's me, darling? What? Oh, uh, nobody, nothing. <clears throat> Certainly not me in an alternate, amazing future. You're being weird. But also, I don't care. Oh. I have some contracts and mergers I need you to mail out for Joss. I hear Jolly Roger Shipping Company uh, is the fastest. I find it best to deliver them with a packet of tissues. Tissues? Yes. It's my job to get Mr. Hook exactly what he wants, and I do it by whatever means necessary. Sometimes those means are, well, mean. I have to go. I have a meeting with the Prince of Persia. Mail those out ASAP. Right away, Miss Jukes. Don't you worry. Mr. John Smee Darling is on the job. Hmm. Okay, James, we're gonna have some words. And most of the words that I plan on using are four letters and are directed at you. Peter, so nice to see you. Do we have an appointment? I don't do appointments. Of course not. You prefer the fly by the seat of your pants style of life. Never one for making plans, are you? No, I don't plan life. I do life. I do life real good. And um, I, that was weird. I know what, what I mean to say is that I do not plan out my life. I just live it. And how has that been working out for you, Peter? Because from what I understand, you've lost your job, your yes. apartment, your ferry, uh, Wendy. You, your life's not perfect either. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're rich. Yeah, you got a beautiful girlfriend. Yeah, you have a low body fat percentage, but you, I did you're still short. <laughs> yeah, and you're always gonna be. Oh, I've been where you are, Peter, okay? I've been so far down, buried beneath so many of my issues that I, I never thought I'd see my way back out. I never thought things could be good again. But they can, Peter. I promise you that. I did not come here for a pep talk. No, you didn't. And a pep talk wouldn't do you any good. Not without action. Come work for me. Work for you? My company has a comic book department. You are a very talented artist and storyteller. You will be a valuable asset to my company. And I assure you, the pay will be more than fair. I, I, I don't. Peter, I can do for you what I did for Wendy. She went from being local to being global. Imagine your stories being told around the world in hundreds of languages. No, 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 no! I, I'm not, I don't want to just become another suit. I don't even own a suit. No, screw suits and their suit mothers. <laughs> Peter, look. You wouldn't have to win. No, you look here, James. You may have everyone else fooled, but I know that you are up to something, and whatever it is, I will stop you. Peter, I'm not some supervillain that you need to threaten or thwart. I'm not out to get you. <laughs> I'm a businessman. I'm here to do business. Uh, well, oh, <laughs> do businessmen usually wear kids' watches? <laughs> is this a Croclex? Yes, I wear it as a reminder of the past. It's very important to know where you came from. Oh, I remember the past. I remember you huffing and puffing, trying to keep up with us. You were so worried about time. You, you time for school, time for lunch, time to take a poop. You had everything so scheduled that you made John look cool. Oh my, what was that old rhyme that we used to say? Don't. Tick tock, it's James and his crock. 
Stop. Oh, here to plunder all the fun. He is the stuttering parrot who will give you a demerit. So you should all just run. run. You're nothing but a bully, Peter Pan. And you are nothing but a little, little liar. I'm gonna prove it. Thank you.